city of God. I will make mention of Rahab and Babylon to them that know me. Behold, Philistines, and Tyre with Ethiopia. This man was born there. And of Zion it shall be said, This and that man was born in her, and the highest himself shall establish her. The Lord shall count when he writeth up the people that this man was born there. As well as the singers, as the players on instruments shall be there, all my springs are in thee. I read the entire verses of uh, Psalms 87. May the Lord have a blessing upon the years and doers of this most holy word. Amen. Amen.
lead us in worship it and give it. The Lord loveth a cheerful giver, a happy, a hilarious giver. You can't be God giver. No matter what you do. Because he already gave to you this morning the gift of life. So give unto God as he so has blessed you. Come on, brother. Amen. I'm back once again. Good morning. Good morning. It's eight years. Oh, Father God, we just come to say thank you, first of all. So uplift your name, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we come to do our tithes and offerings this morning, Lord. We come to do our tithes and offerings. You know, the Lord been good to us. Yes, he has. He's been good yes. to us. Like Ralph yes. said, he woke us up this oh, morning. Yes, sir. Yes. With, with help and strength. And now we're back. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Father. We say thank you. Thank you. So, Father God, we gave us the, the clothes that's on our back. Oh, yes. So, he, he, did, he did one of the things for us. Yes. So that's why yes. we should go out. Yes. He only asked for one thing from us. Yes. Ten percent. Yes. The ten percent of our yes. earnings. And that's what he had come up. So, Father God, as we come this morning, we want to give happiness, not grudgingly. Okay. We want to pay our tithes. We want to do our offering this morning, Amen. God. If you want to bail your money in, I, I do mine by a uh, person. I pay a person by myself. Mm -hmm. But if you want to mail it in, it's, it's uh, 2120. Renoa Street, four one ten seven 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 zero three. And if you want to go through Cash App, PayPal, it's all good. As long as you give the Lord what He asked for. Amen. Don't cheat God. Amen. Don't cheat Him. Because He gave us so much. So we don't need to cheat our Lord. No. Okay. <laughs> so we coming up to this time of doing our offering. And I'm tired. Uh, I need a hush. I need a hush. Well, everything is good, though. Everything is always good. Yes, now, we don't come up here with that happiness and joy in our heart. That we do our offering in time. And put that joy and happiness in our heart. Everybody please stand, face the sun out, earth in the real with our hair.
kindness. Father, I pray now for your presence and your power. I need you now. Speak through me, God, and speak to me. To the end, God, that you may be glorified and edified everything that is said and done. Saints of God will have the strength to keep on keeping on. Most of all, God, that someone that does not know you might get to know you on today. It's in the name of Jesus the Christ we do pray and for his sake. Amen. 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 Well, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all you thank. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Yes. Know ye that the Lord he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. I just want you to meditate with me 
just for a few moments on the sermon topic today. Uh, my life is in his hands. My life is in his hands. Some of you already know where I'm going with this particular message. Y'all can shout right now if you want to. But it amazes me in life how we do certain things and think nothing of it. I mean, we will get on the internet and book trips to places that we've never gone before. And we take different means of transportation to get to those locations. I mean, sometimes we take a plane. We may take a train. Could be an automobile, yeah, yeah. cab driver, or Uber, or a Lyft, whatever you want to say. And we know that we book the particular means of transportation uh, with a destination in mind. Yeah, yeah. We 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 know for certain that our ticket says that we are going to uh, destination X. And we don't think anything about it when we hand our luggage uh, to the baggage handlers. We don't think anything about it when we go to our seats and we put on our seat belt. We don't think anything about it when, when, when the plane begins to take off. We don't think anything about it when the train begins to move. We don't think anything about it when, when the person begins to drive us to that place that we desire to go. And, and we don't know how to fly a plane. Maybe one or two of us in here. We, we, we've never driven a, 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 a train. We trust the individual that 
train, these trains and automobiles. But as soon as it comes to our spirituality, as soon as it comes to our walk with Christ, the first thing we want to do is try to make it make sense. And anybody that's been walking with God for a little while, yeah. you know within your own heart that most of the time it will not make sense. It only makes sense after you begin to see what, what God is trying to do. But God doesn't want you to make sense out of what he's trying to do. He just wants you to follow his instructions. He, he just wants you uh, to do what he is asking you to do. But, but we have to have control. My brothers and my sisters, control is what's playing in the church right now. My brothers and my sisters, us relying on our own intellect, yeah. our own brain power, yeah. and our own abilities is what's plaguing the church right now. Yeah. But I love what Paul says over in Galatians chapter 2 and 20. I am crucified with Christ. <laughs> Nevertheless, I live. Right. Yet, not I, but Christ liveth in me. Uh -huh. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of God, yeah. who loved me and gave himself for me. What Paul is trying to get us to understand is that once you make up in your mind that you love God, yeah. once you make up in your mind that you're going to trust God,
this, this hero of faith who we will discuss today. Mm -hmm. The name hasn't been changed just yet. He's still Abraham. Mm -hmm. Most of us know him as Abraham. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Father Abraham at that. Abram uh, is a believer. Yes. He is a, a follower of God. Yes. Yeah. God speaks to him. He, he hears him All right. and knows that it's God who is speaking. Hello. Now, I, I know that doesn't sound like much, but, 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 but for those of you that have been uh, walking with him for a little while, there, there is no greater feeling to be able to hear God, to know that God is speaking to you, and understand what God is trying to do for you and through you in your life. There is nothing like being able to, uh, to hear that distinctive voice of God saying, my child, move. tells him, listen, I know that you're doing well where you are. <laughs> I know that uh, I've blessed you with some things right where you are. Mm -hmm. I, I know that that money, land, and family is not an issue with you. You have all of those things. But I desire for you to move from where you are. And I'm not going to tell you where you're going. Yeah. I just want you to get up yeah. and begin yeah. to move. Now, yeah. now faith comes into play now. Yeah. Because it's one thing to hear what God says. Yeah. It's another thing to do what God is telling you to do. Yeah. Uh, it's one thing to know God's voice. Yeah. It's another thing to, to obey God's word. Yeah. And, and here, uh, Abel has to make a decision. Because God
right choice to make. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And Abram decided that he was going to put his life mm -hmm. in God's hand. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, sir. Abram made a conscious mm -hmm. decision. Yeah. <laughs> To forget about what he thought. Yeah. To forget about what he felt. Mm -hmm. To forget about what he had accomplished where he was. Yeah. He made a conscious decision to place his destiny mm -hmm. in God's hand. And, yeah. and I'm going to have somebody that understands the significance yeah. of that. Because yeah. Once we really understand uh, that our life is in God's hand.
time to move from troubles to joy. But in order to move from trouble to joy, you have to come to the altar and the finish of your faith. That is Jesus the Christ. The door of the church is open.
and the financial committee will collect your financial gifts at the church from 8 a.m. until 10.30 a.m. This is 